Hi, this is Keith from PharmacyTechStudy.com and this video is about a question that was asked on Facebook originally and it asks an order requires 800 milliliters of 1.5 percent drug AA solution your pharmacy stocks 15 milliliter ampules of 80 percent drug AA solution which you'll dilute with D5NS. How many ampules of the 80% solution will you need to open? One, two, three, or four? So let's go to the whiteboard and we'll talk about this one. So um, what I would recommend, there's a couple ways I'm going to show you you can do this, but the way I recommend to tackle this one is with an allegation. And the reason why is because we have an 80% solution to work with and we have a 0% solution to work with and we're trying to get a 1.5% solution to work with. So we'll go ahead and draw our tic-tac-toe grid and we'll do that. Now, I know a lot of you are looking at this decimal and uh, it's irritating and I hate decimals also, but let me show you what you can do and it's gonna make life easier. Um, just like in an equation, you can actually take this decimal and just move it over one place as long as you do that. Here's the decimal hiding here. As long as you do it with all the numbers, then you're okay. And so what we can do now is just run it just like a regular allegation. So figuring the difference this way, we get 785. And the difference this way is 15. Okay, so looking back at the question, we need 800 milliliters. Okay, and so let's figure out how many parts we have. We have 800 parts and we need 800 milliliters. So that's going to be 800 milliliters divided by 800 parts, which in this particular question, uh, it becomes very convenient that each part is one milliliter. Okay. So if we look up here at our 80%, which is in those ampules, those 15 milliliter ampules, we need 15 parts. And so 15, excuse me, if one milliliter is each part, and 15 parts is 15 milliliters. So that equals one ampule. And so that's actually the question, excuse me, that's actually the answer to the question right there. Hopefully you understood all that. Um, it's usually not that easy, but uh, in this case, it worked out really nicely. So the other way that, uh, you could do this is to use the equation C1 V1 equals C2 V2. So I'm going to put parentheses around these just so everybody's on the same page knowing that we're going to multiply these together. Okay, so our C1 is our concentration one which is 0.8 and our volume one is unknown because that's what we're trying to find out how many milliliters of the 80% that we're going to use and our C2 our concentration 2 is our 1.5% which in this case is 0 0.015 and our volume 2 is going to be 800 milliliters okay so we'll go ahead and we'll do the math so we got 0 0.80x equals 12 in order to isolate the x, we're going to divide both sides by 0 0.80. And what that gives us is x equals 15. Okay, So that's 15 milliliters, which also equals 1 ampule. Okay, So looking back at the question, it looks like answer A is correct uh, as 1 ampule.